Wait, one to a camera. Thank you, thank you, thank you all for being here tonight on this fifth night of Hanukkah. In light of our menorah, we see both shadows and hope. Our world was shattered on October 7th. The tragedy has echoed across the world, igniting a wave of anti-Semitism that has touched every corner of our lives. But there is hope. I recently returned from Washington, D.C. for the March for Israel rally. I'm going to take this mic. There we go. Much better. And I want you to know that the unity and the determination that I witnessed was nothing short of inspiring. We are an incredibly resilient community. Our community has survived. We have survived the Crusades, the Inquisition, the pogroms, the Holocaust, and now October 7th. And tonight, as these Hanukkah candles burn, I want them to be a symbol of our enduring spirit. We cannot allow a rhetoric of hate to permeate our universities or our halls of government. And we will not let fear dictate our actions or prevent us from speaking out. So I encourage you to wear our Jewish stars with pride. Hang your mezuzahs up. And let's raise our voices not in fear, but in pride and solidarity. Our response to adversity is not to hide, but to stand taller together. So tonight, let's remember our light will never be dim. Thank you, happy Hanukkah, and let's bring the hostages home!